I have not talked in front of a camera in a while. Maybe a little rusty. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. I'm I say that a lot. I'm excited for a lot of videos that I do. Sue me. But I am very excited for this one because I love K Beauty. I've always wanted to get myself a little something something from Yes Style. And all of these products that I got are from Yes Style, and I will have them linked down below if you guys are interested. The first thing that I really wanted was the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50. Now I know the scandal of the green Centella one, but I'm really hoping that this one is still okay. I don't know if like people are investigating the other sunscreen ones, but I'm hoping this one's good. But either way, I really like it. It's very moisturizing. I do wear it every day. So this is good. I like to put this in my little mini skincare fridge so it's nice and fresh like now. So yeah, just, I got this. I've always wanted to try cushion foundations. Oh, this one that I got is so cute. It like, I, I was, I swear I was looking on there for hours to find like the right cushion foundation because there's so many. And the thing that I don't really like about them is that the only their shade range is very, very limited. Um, I think I saw two brands that had up to seven colors, but most of them are just two to three shades. And I got this one from Rome and Rum and I don't I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know if that if I'm, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I will have the names somewhere on the screen. And this is the Romantic Moonlight. It is so cute. I am so excited to try this out. And I got the shade Natural 21. So here we go. And this is what it looks like. It's so cute. It's a smooth surface, but there's like little glitter specks and it's really cute. And when you open it, and there's a little cushion that they all have and it's purple, it's so cute. There is, there it is. <laughs> now I did have, I did put primer on this side. As you can see, I have more going on on this side than I do on this side. So I really want to see how that would work in covering it up. Tell me that wasn't satisfying. <laughs> so let's go ahead and cover up this mess that I got going on and let's see how it applies and feels and all that stuff a little bit more I really hope this is my shade Ooh, that looks interesting okay I barely pressed down and I'm already getting a lot of product so that is interesting to see And usually what I like to do too to cover up my blemishes, I like to put something to spot conceal, I guess you could say. I don't use actual concealer because I feel like it's a lot heavier. So I'll just use like a foundation, honestly. So it's, oh my god. So as far as shade, this is not my shade. Um, I look really, really pale, which is weird. <laughs> I look insane right now. So, um, I don't know if you can, well, obviously you can see that. Look at that. That is not my shade. I really thought it would be. On the screen, it looked like it was more of a yellow-based foundation. So that's why I was like, ooh, this one. And then the one, this is the second color, so I, I was looking at the third color which is a little bit darker and it looked a little too much on the peachy side which I am not so looks like we're gonna have to blend this all the way down but other than that I think it gives like a really a really nice coverage um i actually do like it i don't think i would wear this i kind of just switched to powder foundation now because i feel like it's a lot more lightweight on my skin and it doesn't crease or cake me up a lot 
so I'm not gonna be using this but I, I probably will be using this for like looks and stuff but not like as everyday makeup I don't think I could do that but either way I I really wanted this because it was so cute but let me just go ahead and do the other side of my face and I will be right back Okay, so I went ahead and did my whole face, even some of my neck, <laughs> and I feel like I still look too white, <laughs> but that's okay. And I kind of just put translucent powder on my eyes and under my eye, on my eyelids and under my eyes so it wouldn't like crease. But this is like really nice. Like if it wasn't for my terrible skin, this would look super amazing. I feel like the side of the primer it looks a little bit better than the side with no primer so maybe just keep that in mind wear a primer and now what i'm going to do i don't want to wipe with that back i need a mirror i'm going to do my eyes so i don't look scary during this whole video so now what we're gonna do sorry i'm on a my sister's spin chair and I like it <laughs> but um, the next thing is this jelly dough blusher from Holika Holika I don't know if that's how you say it I'm sorry if I mispronounced it but it looks like this and it is the cutest thing ever I love the color selection that they have but I feel like this one suits me just a little bit more and once again it comes with its own little little puff I just think it is the cutest color. I don't know why I, I don't know why I mean by cute, but I just think it's such a pretty color. But I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it a little bit for you. That is an interest interesting texture. It looks just like that. Let's just go ahead and dab right into it. Oh, but there it is. I'm not really much, I'm not much of a blush person, but I really want to start getting into blush again. So, let's see how this goes. Let me just tap off a little bit. I don't want to get too much. Oh, it's actually not that bad. So, we'll go ahead and put it right here. That is actually really nice. Once again, I feel like if it wasn't for my... Skin, I feel like it would show up a lot better. I like that it's not crazy pigmented so you don't accidentally go overboard. You do have to go lightly in there. Honestly, I have no idea if you can tell. I feel like I didn't put it on evenly, but that's okay. I haven't worn blush in a really long time so I'm just starting to get into it. So if I don't put it in the right areas, Sorry, not sorry. This is honestly so cute. I really, really like the blush. I'm very excited about it. I am super excited to keep wearing it. The next thing is a lip product and it's once again from the brand R Rom and ND. I hope, I really hope I'm saying that right. And it is the Glassing Water Tint. It's like a lip gloss and a tint. Very interesting and I got it in the shade 01 coral mist and it looks just like this that rhymed so yeah here it is and let's go ahead and try it on It feels really, really nice on the lips, really moisturizing and hydrating. And I like that it's not crazy pigmented, it just gives you like a nice wash of color and of course you can build it up. Um, it does give like a little gloss effect, but I think I'm going, I'm going to kind of like just like pat that away and then just see what it looks like when I pat it away. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little hint of color that it gives my lips without it being too overpowering. Can 
can I wipe it away? Okay, so some of it does come off, but it's not a lot. And like it, it is, it, it does what it says it does. It's a tint. <laughs> I'm gonna top this off with the last product that I got, and it is this is from the brand I'm Mimi. I think that's how you say it. It comes in this really cute packaging. It's kind of like a candy bar packaging and I didn't want to rip it from the top so I ripped it from the back so I can get the product out and yes I've already tried this I didn't try the other products for the sake of this video but I did want to try this because I am a sucker for lip glosses and this is so good I got it in sugar jelly and I don't know what the other one is but the, it's two of them so it's this clear one and then it's another one that has a slight hint of pink it smells so good it smells like a Jolly Rancher but not crazy like they put a, a very light hint of sugary jolly rancher deliciousness in there which i love because like i said it's not too overpowering and it feels so good on the lips so hydrating so yummy yummy in g tummy and it just i love it i love it love it love it i'm just gonna put some of this on because it just feels amazing on the lips you don't even need a lot I highly recommend that little jelly lip gloss so good that is it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up and if you didn't go ahead and give it a thumbs down that's okay you don't have to like everything I make <laughs> and I hope you guys have a great day and a great week and great holiday and stay safe. I will see you guys next time. Bye!